Eric, Deanna, this amphitheater behind me was completely full just hours ago. Hundreds of people coming out to show their appreciation for our veterans. While I was here, I got the chance to speak to a wide range of people, including vets who served decades ago, military families, and those currently in service. All of them echoing the same sentiment. Freedom isn't free. We wouldn't have our freedoms without their sacrifices and without the sacrifices of their families. The unwavering bravery and support of those who serve our country should not go without celebration. And today's annual Veterans Day ceremony hosted by the Virginia War Memorial was a powerful testament to that dedication. Hundreds of people from all over the Commonwealth, including active and retired veterans and others who simply came to show their support, coming together to honor our military and celebrate our veterans. Before we lost our son, today was just another day. My, I'd, my father served in the military for 30 years, but until you have a loss or until you know someone that's had a loss, you don't really understand the significance of this day and how what it has on the effects of all the young men and women that serve in this country. One family in attendance, Mayors and Vera Adcock, whose son, Captain Shane Adcock, died while serving in Iraq in 2006. But he was trying to do what he felt God was leading him to do in serving this country. It's families like the Adcocks that remind General Gary Brito that not only should veterans be honored today, but their families should be celebrated as well. Those that wave the flags during homecoming ceremonies, mailed care packages, moved multiple times, changed schools, endured separations. Yes, you are indeed special as well. We thank you. For more on today's event and other Veterans Day celebrations throughout the Commonwealth, head over to our website at WRIC.com. Live in Richmond, Sahar Spigroman, 8 News.